Didn't I tell you it's amazing down there? <sighs> wow. Mm. <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, what else would you rather be doing <laughs> in December? Yeah? Well, snow at Christmas time is traditional, but frankly, I think I'll take the 25 degree heat and the beautiful coral reefs any year. <laughs> and being with my love does make it all the more enjoyable. Okay, okay, technically yes, it is a work trip, but that doesn't mean I can't enjoy myself while I'm at it, and the fact I've been able to take you with me makes it all the more sweet. <laughs> I can't believe that you thought skin diving meant naked when I first suggested it. <laughs> Not that I would not have approved of such a situation. Hmm. Yes. Well, maybe not uh, right now, but perhaps this evening we could consider such an arrangement. If you think it's beautiful right now, you should see it at night with all the phosphorescence. It's uh, quite a sight to behold. But yeah, this is important work that we're doing. The effect that the climate is having on the creatures here or on the islands. I mean, some of these islands around here could very well disappear underwater in the next 10, 20 years as a result of global warming. And the evidence that we're finding will help to prove how climate change and fossil fuels have damaged the ecosystem so much here. Despite all the warnings several oil companies will be given, you do know about this, right? There is a massive lawsuit brewing. I mean, huge. Uh huh. Not just here, islands all over the world are taking the big oil giants to court because they knew that this was going to be the effect and they did nothing. And as long as they can prove that in the court of law, I mean, that's a very different world we'll end up in. Very different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, while it is fun to be in the water with my beautiful lover, there are very big things at stake here, which is why I need to be able to do my job. Okay? Mm. And we are going to have plenty of time for fun. <laughs> well, if you really want the nitty gritty, one of the main things we're looking at here is the pH balance in the water. There are parts of the island where fresh water and seawater meet, and that should be hitting around 8.1 for this time of year. But, climate change has resulted in large amounts of ocean acidification, which has been lowering the pH balance of the water, and we're seeing that in some places it's hitting as low as 7.8, 7.9. And that may not seem like enough, but those 0.2 out of sync can lead to extraordinary amounts of damage, particularly to the coral. So. It may not be the most fascinating work, but continued studies, and this does mean continued studies over a long period of time, we have to be able to prove that it's not just some freak. It has to be able to show that as the years have gone on, as time goes on, the acidification is getting worse. But by doing so, we prove that... Exactly. That there is more at stake. Yeah. <laughs> so are we going to go under again or well yes later on I will have to come back with the team 
with proper diving apparatus. <laughs> and we're going to be doing some, yeah, taking samples from along the seafloor and checking on the local wildlife. And of course, measuring how the seafloor itself has been changing as erosion there makes a huge difference. <laughs> Not a bad Christmas tradition, is it? I know it's our first together, but what do you think? Do you get used to coming out here with me every year? <laughs> oh, I would always bring you with me if you wanted. And yeah, there's obviously there's going to be quite a few times when I'm not around, but I got a feeling you'll find things to do on an island this beautiful, or things not to do. What are the point? Isn't it just perfect, just lying back in the sand and just enjoying the sea breeze, reading a nice book, maybe with a pina colada in your hand, or something. <laughs> Now, I think we've been treading water long enough, so what's it to be? Are we going back down, or are we going in? Oh, I knew you'd say that. Marvellous. Okay, race you to the bottom this time. Three, two, I love you. One. Good evening, darling. I hope you enjoy this romantic audio experience. Please don't forget to like, comment, share the video, and of course, subscribe to the channel. If you want to hear more of this sort of material, please consider joining my Patreon community, where you'll have early access to future releases and exclusive content. To discover everything I do, visit goodeveningdarling.com.